at the magician's. The magician's house. Met Carl through his dad and his mom, I think. Well, I'm, yeah, I think that's how we met. Met him, he was still in high school. First time met him, he was, <clears throat> we were sledding. He was young, but yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, I remember Dave when I was a little kid. He was a really old guy then, but he always had cool shit. <laughs> yeah, he's still just like he is now, spoiled. But I mean, yeah, everybody took care of him. It's the same, nothing's really changed. <laughs> My mom and dad moved to Westlock in 83, so I was probably eight years old or something like that, maybe 82, and um, grew up there for you know, till we, till I finished school basically and lived there for a few more years. My folks had a snowmobile and motorcycle dealership there. And I had uncles on my mom's side that always had cool old Mustangs and um, always loved hot rods. And that's kind of where I'd got the passion from. I found this truck, a friend of mine phony had bought it for his dad and his dad was going to rebuild it 20 years ago. Never did rebuild it. He had bought it from an older gentleman. So I phoned Carl, mentioned to him and said, hey, we can get this truck. Are you interested? He thought maybe it was a good idea. So I went and looked at it. It was a really solid truck, like a really, really good truck. So we, I went and bought it, brought it back, and then it just kind of spiraled from there. It was just going to be a quick build. It was the steel on it was immaculate uh, for the age. And we decided to, OK, let's give it a try. These unibodies always rust out in the front of the uh, cab and Dave built a jig for doing unibodies specifically. The cab and the body are all one piece. We have to take the take it off and hold it as an assembly because we have no frame support underneath because it's called it's unibody for a reason. It's one piece, whereas a normal pickup, you have a cab, you have a box, they have their own supports. The unibody, the body actually supports it. So when you start cutting body pieces out, it literally falls apart. So we built the jig, it holds it off the A pillars and the B pillars so we can slide the floor out and then slide a brand new floor underneath and the doors open and close like they did when they were brand new. basically strip it and it goes out for powder coating. The, we have a nine inch that's already rebuilt to go in there. Maybe we could just make a lawnmower out of this. Yeah. <laughs> that's harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, so to mount the Crown Vic front suspension in, and on the F100s, we take the tubes out of a factory Crown Vic car and install them into the factory frame of the of the F100, just so it has the same strength as what the Crown Vic would have. The reason we use Crown Vics, and most people are using them on trucks, is because they fit the frame so well, and their weight rating is very much similar to the pickups. So you don't have to change much as far as spring rates, shocks. They're just a perfect choice for the F100. Well, I'm just standing here with my hands in my pocket like normal days doing the work. But uh, this is the CNC plates that uh, tie in basically the back, lower control arms into the frame. So those are a CNC piece and they go right onto the brand new mounts. It's pretty slick. Now it's going to drive like a new car instead of an old truck. You know what it means working on Shelly's truck for this last little while? It means that my truck's gonna be another year. You know what they say, one hot rod for the wife, 
happy for life. When we uh, C-notch the back of the frame, we also box it for extra strength, just so the frame, we don't have to worry about flexing. The plan is to haul bikes in the back of this truck, dirt bikes. So it's got enough room for three, so it's gotta be strong enough to haul three bikes, plus fuel and helmets and stuff like that, and clothing. So the frame is stronger now than it was before with the C-notch in it. So we have extra travel, so it can be down lower. And then the frame's gonna get flipped upside down. Dave has built so many of them that for him, he can process the vehicle build in sitting down and in a conversation, he can go for in his mind from taking it apart to putting it completely together in a single conversation. You know, I admire um, when you go through a shop, there's a lot of people <clears throat> that have really cool stuff in their shop and lots of cool tools, but there is very few people that actually wear the tools out you know and that to me is uh that is something that speaks of you know his not just skill set but you know experience like how many times you have to turn a wrench to wear the wrench out you know you just don't see that one day started stripping it we found the really nice carabina green underneath it like really nice oh my god am i in over my head yeah probably but that's like any good project so we got engine transmission really we should have it at least mocked up and in the frame in the next few days 